Hi everyone, my name is Chrissy Hughes. I'm a life skills and deployment educator at Fleet and Family Support Center in San Diego. Today I'm coming to you with a suicide prevention brief that we would typically provide within an hour to an hour and a half. I'm going to actually condense this brief down into a series of videos. This way you can view it at your convenience and in your location of choice. Um, during the global pandemic COVID-19 coronavirus crisis. I'm working from home and uh, dealing with uh, my own stressors, um, being confined and isolated. Um, I want you to realize, and one of the things that I've personally lost sleep over is knowing that people who are suffering from suicidal ideations are probably experiencing higher rates of suicidal ideations during this current um, episode. Um, so we want to provide a lot of additional care, comfort, and understanding during this time for people who might be suffering. So this is a um, Navy suicide prevention brief. You can actually just find this whole brief online. Just search Navy suicide. Um, I like to spend a lot of time talking about the prevention side rather than awareness. I think most of us are aware that there is a suicide problem. We know that suicide rates continue to spike year after year. And we wanna focus more on the ways to prevent that rather than just know that it happens. I'm gonna start though and talk a little bit about what kind of tendencies and characteristics are related to people that either attempt or later follow through with their suicide. So for example, you've probably seen this um, poster before, you can get in a poster or a slide, many times it's in the break room or in the hallways in commands. And um, this is an acronym called Is Path Warm? And it talks about some of the related behaviors that we see when people have suicidal tendencies. So a couple that I like to point out um, specifically are two that I think are pretty normalized within the military culture. And one of them is anger. You know, everybody knows probably an angry, someone in their command or um, in their work situation. They usually get a lot of results after when they're um, angry, but ang anger and uh, chronic anger, so regularly being angry, um, can be a predecessor to a suicide-related um, attempt or completion. And then the other one is um, substance abuse. Um, work hard, play hard, right? A lot of uh, military communities sometimes deal with substance abuse as well. Um, I actually say personally, I think everyone has their drug of choice. Um, that could be, it could be alcohol, it could be illicit drugs, it could be over-the-counter drugs, it could be um, caffeine, it could be using sex in inappropriate ways, but everyone has something that they rely on that might not be the most healthy coping mechanism with stress. Um, the thing about substance abuse is that it will... If you're using it to numb an emotion or to avoid an event, um, it is not discriminatory. The substance does not discriminate. So for example, if I'm very lonely in my life and I use alcohol to make myself feel less lonely, the substance doesn't only numb the feeling of being lonely, it will numb every other emotion that you have. Elation, joy, pride, the need to connect with others. So that's really where substance abuse draws a line between um, am I using this to just have a good time, to relax, to wind down, or am I using this as a unhealthy coping mechanism? Something to think about. Um, another thing that I wanna draw attention to as well is many times um, when sailors or service members have not had the outcomes from the Navy that they want, like for example, um, the Navy's not meeting my expectations, either work-wise, relationship-wise, stability-wise, I might feel like I feel a lot of feelings of purposelessness and withdraw from the situation and hopelessness. Like if I got an NJP or I've had um, disciplinary action at work, I might have these feelings as well. And then that can sometimes, because we feel so withdrawn, hopeless, isolated in the situation, we might engage in that reckless behavior. What happens there though is if we engage in reckless behavior like illegal behavior or behavior that's not um, congruent with what the Navy expects from us, um, we also see some instances where service members will use suicide as a way to escape humiliation. Um, everyone's going to find out what I did. 
I, my family will not have the respect. I'll lose my ability to make an income. My children will never look at me the same again. Um, so I will just complete this, be done with this. Um, like the civilian equivalent of suicide is I'm better off dead than I am alive or I'm worth more dead than I am alive. So watch for that. And then three phrases I kind of want to bring attention to. I'm alone, I'm a burden, and I'm not afraid to die. So those are three phrases. If you kind of hear in your conversations people saying, I'm all alone, I'm a burden to those who love me, and I'm not afraid to die, those are big warning signs. And that's when we need to reach out and ask, ask about the suicidal tendencies, tell them that you care, and then offer to get them the correct treatment. So that's the first session of the suicide brief. I'll see you again for session two.